Cloud's limit breaks are all about attacking. His first limit break, Braver, does three times normal damage to one enemy. His next limit break, Cross Slash, can be gotten by using Braver eight times. It does 3.25 normal damage and can inflict Paralyze to most enemies. In order to get his level 2 limit break, Cloud has to kill 120 enemies and he unlocks Blade Beam, which does 3.5 times normal damage and there are smaller beams that go and attack the rest of the enemies for regular power. Cloud can unlock his second level 2 limit break by using Blade Beam 7 times. He unlocks Klim Hazard, which does 4.375 times normal damage to a single enemy. Cloud can unlock his level 3 limit break by killing another 200 enemies from the last limit, and he unlocks Meteor Rain, which does 1.625 times normal damage for 6 hits across all enemies. After using Meteor Rain 6 times, Cloud unlocks Finishing Touch, which does 3.125 times normal damage to all enemies, and inflicts death to any creature that is not immune. Cloud's final limit, Omni Slash, can be unlocked once to unlock all his other limit breaks. It does 3 quarters damage per hit for 15 hits, and each hit is a critical. Cloud can find his Omni Slash manual by winning it in the Battle Square and Gold Saucer for 32,000 battle points. Cloud's limits in general are very powerful. I find that Cross Slash is very useful in the beginning of the game because it can paralyze bosses. Klim Hazard and Meteor Rain are very good towards the middle and end of the game once you need more power. And Omni Slash is obviously the best if you can get that as soon as possible. By virtue of his limit breaks, Cloud is very useful to have during boss fights.